So hello guys, welcome back to our video and for today we are going to talk about arithmetic means or the terms between two terms of an arithmetic sequence. So our focus would be how to insert arithmetic means between two terms of an arithmetic sequence. Let's start. So we know that the general rule of the arithmetic sequence is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times the common difference d. So first question is insert five arithmetic means between negative 9 and 3. So basically we have a negative 9 as our first term and then we have to insert 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 um, terms in between negative 9 and then before we go to 3. In that case, we can notice that this is our first term, 3 is our last term, and since we are to insert 5 terms in between, then, a sub, then 3 is our a sub 7 or 7th term. Okay? So, um, substituting our uh, given to the formula we have or we are going to follow the formula a sub 7 is equal to a sub 1 plus 7 minus 1 times the common difference all right so in order for us to find the common difference or the terms in between these two terms we need the pattern or the common difference and to obtain that we substitute the given to the formula so Substituting the terms, we are going to have 3 is equal to the first term, which is negative 9, plus 7 minus 1 is 6 times the common difference, D. Okay, so isolating the common difference, we, need, we have to transpose the negative 9 to the left side, or mathematically speaking, add 9 to both sides of the equation. Then we are going to have 3 plus 9 is equal to 6d so we're going to have 12 simplifying this one we're going to obtain 12 is equal to 6d and dividing both sides by 6 then the common difference is 2 if the common difference is 2 now we can insert the terms in between so if from negative 9 we add 2 we get a negative 7 and then add 2 again we get a negative 5 plus 2 negative 3 plus 2 negative 1 plus 2 1 and then plus 2 we get a 3 okay okay let's have another example question number two insert four arithmetic means between 23 and 3 so if we look at the given we have 23 as our first term and we have to insert one two three four terms in between 23 and 3 so all in all we have we have this is a sub 1 and we have to insert four terms then basically this is our a sub 6 okay so substituting this given or this values to the formula we then have a sub 6 or yeah a sub 6 is equal to a sub 1 plus 6 minus 1 times the common difference d for this sequence let's find the common difference a sub 6 is equal to 3 a sub 1 is equal to 23 plus 6 minus 1 gives us a 5d okay so oops Okay, transposing 23 to the left side or subtracting 23 on both sides of the equation, we are going to have a negative 23 plus 3 is equal to 5D. And simplifying this expression, we're going to have negative 20 is equal to 5D. So dividing both sides by 5, then our common difference is, oh sorry, our common difference is equal to difference is equal to negative 4 
okay so if the common difference is negative 4 now to get the next terms between ah to insert those four terms between 23 and 3 we subtract 4 from 23 and so on until we reach the 3 so let's try it 23 minus 4 is 19 19 minus 4 gives us 15 15 minus 4 is 11 11 minus 4 is 7 and 7 minus 4 gives us a 3 okay so this is how to find or how to insert arithmetic means between two terms of an arithmetic sequence let's move on another way to deal with finding the common difference is actually manipulating the general formula so we know that the general formula the general rule follows a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d so if we are going to isolate the common difference on the right side we are going to have a sub n minus a sub 1 is equal to n minus 1 times the common difference d and for us to leave the d alone we divide both sides by n minus 1 so another formula or or i should say manipulating the formula we obtain that common difference can be solved by subtracting the last term minus the first term divided by n minus 1 so let's apply this to the next example okay so last example question number three insert five arithmetic means between 75 and 83 okay so same procedure we have 75 as our first term and since we have to insert one two three four five terms in between them to get to 83 therefore we have seven terms all in all 75 is our a sub 1 and this consists of five terms and our a sub 7 then is or the last term is 83 okay applying the formula common difference can be obtained by subtracting 83 minus 75 divided by there are seven terms all in all 7 minus 1 will give you an 8 over 6 or basically lowest term we have four thirds so our common difference is four thirds so for us to check whether this common difference will um, complete our arithmetic sequence we add 4 thirds from 75, we add the result with 4 thirds again, the result plus 4 thirds until we reach 83. Let's check. So, since um, from 75, we go to the second term, we have to add 4 thirds. Same goes with the third, second to the third, that's 4 thirds plus 4 thirds plus 4 thirds until we get to the seventh term. How to do that? Just because we know it's a fraction, let's put our calculator here up here so here's the calculator so let's start with 75 plus 4 thirds we get a 229 over 3 so let's put it here 229 over 3 I forgot the question there um, next plus 4 thirds again we get a 233 over 3 plus another 4 thirds we get 79 plus 4 thirds 4 thirds we get 241 over 3 over 3 last 2 plus 4 thirds again actually you can just press the equal sign but I'm showing it to you so plus 4 thirds that's 245 over 3 and lastly plus another 4 thirds this should end up equal to 83 so that's correct 83 all right so whether the common difference is a positive number a negative number a fraction all you have to do is to follow the process and uh, follow the formula and just like my last videos or from my previous videos 
I will leave a question for the viewers. So the challenge question for the viewers would be insert three arithmetic means between 102 and 154. So put your answers and the comments down below and I hope you did get something from today's lesson. I will see you in the next video. Peace. Thank you.